As you can see, we're inside the Pixelmon mod pack in 2023. And if you want to learn how to download and install Pixelmon, you have come to the right place because I'm going to teach you how to install this beautiful mod pack. Okay, so you could actually play with Pokemons and all of that. And also I'm going to teach you how to fix any issues you might have along the way. So I do recommend that you watch this guide until the end, because by the end of the video, I'm going to teach you how to solve any issues you might find. So yeah, let's get started with the guide and I hope you enjoyed the mod pack. Okay, so the first step to actually install Pixelmon in 2023 is to actually download CurseForge. CurseForge is going to be the launcher that is going to allow us to install Minecraft mod packs, not just Pixelmon, but if you want to install something like RLCraft or something like that, you'll be able to do it through CurseForge. So to download CurseForge, go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install CurseForge. Once you're here, of course, you can read through the guide, you can look at the photos, and um, that might help some of you. But I'm assuming most of you are following along the video, so just go ahead and click where it says download CurseForge here. Once you click in there, that is going to redirect you to the CurseForge website where we're going to click download on this little window button. However, if you have some other operating system, you could click on more download options and then you will see Mac and Linux. However, for this tutorial, we're going to use Windows. So go ahead and click where it says download. That is going to start the download automatically. In my case, it's asking me where I want to save the file, but I'm assuming for most of you, it's just going to download automatically. Once you have the file, go ahead and drop it into your desktop, not because of any reason, but because I like to keep all my files in a place where I could see them. So let's go ahead and put it here in our desktop and we are kind of ready to start installing CurseForge. Go ahead and double click on it. And after you double click on CurseForge, you're going to get the installer. It actually might prompt you with the administrator sign, just allow it to run. Then you're going to get the installer. Once in here, you can select your language in this tutorial we're going to use english but if you want to change it go ahead then go ahead and click next in here once it goes forward go ahead and click that you have read and accepted the terms you know this thing that nobody ever reads and then click next again then click next one more time this is a little option if you want to record your gameplay but i have never used it myself so we're going to skip it and we're just going to click next again to start the actual installation installing curseforge might be quite fast actually shouldn't take that long it's mainly downloading files and installing the software i actually think that it's going to take longer to install the actual mod pack than to install curseforge and just like that curseforge has finished installing you'll know that it's done because first of all it's going to say successfully installed it's also going to show the little desktop shortcut and it's going to open this website on the background you could go ahead and close this website and look at that we found today's a sponsor if you want to create a minecraft server that supports java bedrock that is open 24 7 that you could add mod packs to you could add pixelmon you could add any mod pack that you want into this well apex is here for you and the cool thing is that they will do it for you if you want to create a someone server apex hosting will do it for you and if you use the first link right now in the description you get 25 percent off your first server with apex hosting that is today's sponsor so if you want to support the channel and get a server for yourself with a pretty good deal go ahead and use the first link and let's keep going with the tutorial now let's go ahead and launch curseforge and just double click on the curseforge app right here on the desktop and as you can see it says preparing for first launch the first time you launch curseforge might take a little bit longer than it's actually supposed to take the rest of the time, okay? Because it is the first time you're opening, it might take a little bit longer. As you can see, it's giving you this little intro right here. Right now, it's gonna try and give you a guide, which we could skip. Just go ahead and click where it says skip intro, okay? If you wanna go through it, go ahead and do it, but I recommend you just skip it because I'm going to teach you what to do. So click skip intro. In here, you're going to select the game that we are installing a mod pack for. Obviously, it's Minecraft. So go ahead and select Minecraft. You might have to scroll down though. Go ahead and click on Minecraft. And in here, you might have an empty screen. As you can see, I have lots, lots of mod packs, but you actually might have an empty screen because it is the first time you're opening CurseForge. If you want to find Pixelmon, just go ahead and click where it says browse mod packs. And in here, you could actually see Pixelmon most of the time be here. Like most of the time, it will be the first mod pack that comes up. However, if for any reason you don't see Pixelmon in here, just go ahead and click where it says search for mod packs on the top and then type Pixelmon just like that. And that is going to show you pick someone on the first option right here. Make sure it's this one, okay? As of now, it has 7.5 million downloads. Once pick someone comes up, just go ahead and click on install right here on the top right. And that is going to start the download and installation for pick someone. Now, it is very important that you stay and watch what to do next because there is a chance that pick someone might give us an error when we try to launch it. And I'm going to show you how to fix that if it does happen. So make sure you watch the video until the end because I don't want you complaining saying that it didn't work. Once pick someone has downloaded, you could go ahead and click on play here or you could go back to your mod packs and you'll probably find it in here. If you don't have many mod packs, it will probably be your first one. However, I do have a lot of mod packs. So pick someone is down here. Let's go ahead and click on play. That is going to open the Minecraft launcher. And even though it is the same launcher where you that you will use to play Minecraft from, it's probably going to have you log in like it is the first time you're opening because it actually is the first time you're opening 
the launcher through curseforge okay keep that in mind you have to log in just once and then from there you'll be able to play your mod packs as you can see pixelmon the pixelmon mod pack has been selected down here and if i click in there i don't see any other mod pack i don't see anything else i don't see optifine or forge that is because this launcher it's a little bit different from your actual minecraft launcher okay so just keep that in mind don't get too confused anyways if you want to open the mod pack Let's go ahead and click on play and let's see if it opens or it actually crashes. There's a chance it might crash and I'll show you why and I'll show you how to fix it. Let's go ahead and click on play and let's wait for Pixelmon to open. Okay, so to my surprise, Pixelmon actually opened without any issues. And as you can see, you could actually click on single player and you could launch a world and you could actually start playing Pixelmon. But what happens if Pixelmon crash for you? Okay, so let's say that you try to launch Pixelmon and you got an issue, you got an error saying, uh, something like Java error or Java crash, or maybe pick someone started loading and it didn't fully open. Well, don't worry because I'm going to show you how to fix that real, real quick. Let me just go ahead and open this world to show those people that don't think this works, that it actually works. Let's go ahead and begin our adventure. And there we go. We're actually inside pick someone and you can play pick someone. Okay. This is it. This is the game mode working. As you can see, we are spawning a village, which is pretty, pretty cool. Is that a Steve? Yeah, this is steep. Anyways, so what happens if pick someone crash? Well, let's go ahead and quit the game and show you how to fix a pick someone crash. Let's go ahead and click quit again. So let's go ahead and say that you play pick someone from the let you launch pick someone from CurseForge, right? You click on play. The launcher actually opens. Minecraft launcher open. It open over here. Let me drag it over here. The launcher open, but you try to play the actual mod pack from here and it crash. Okay, so one of the issues might be that you're not giving the game enough RAM. And in order to change that, just click on installations. Select the Pixelmon mod pack and then click on this little three dots and click on edit. In here, you're going to click more options and you're going to go to where it says JVM argument. And as you can see, it says XMX and it says XMS with an S and with an X. OK, and I'm sorry if my pronunciation doesn't help much this situation. As you can see, there's different numbers. There's a 4000 and there's a 256. This is the minimum RAM that we're giving to the mod pack. And this is the maximum. That means that we're allowing the mod pack to use four gigabytes of RAM maximum and 256 megabytes minimum. The gigabytes kind of work by the thousands. So if it says 4000 in here, that means that we're giving four gigabytes. OK, this is megabytes, but 4000 megabytes equal around four gigabytes gigabytes of RAM. If the game is crashing when it is loading up, it might be a RAM issue. And all you have to do to kind of fix it is increase the amount of gigabytes that you're allowing the RAM to use for the mod pack. So you click reset right here. And then in here where it says two gigabytes, we'll change it to maybe eight, right? It all depends on how many gigabytes of RAM you have. Let's say that you have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Well, I'm pretty sure you could give eight to pick someone if it's crashing. Then you just click save and you click play. That is going to launch the mod pack again. But if it's giving you any other issues, right? And as you can see right now, it's loading and it says that it's using 8,000 megabytes. That means it's using eight gigabytes. So we went ahead and fixed that. But if the Pixel Mode mod pack is not even opening at all, if when you click play from the launcher, it doesn't even open, then that might be because you have an outdated version of Java. If you want to know what version of Java you have, and I'm not talking about Minecraft Java, I'm talking about Java as a software that lets you run Java stuff on your computer. If you want to check your Java version, just click where it says type here to search, type auto remove programs, go ahead and open that up. And in here, type Java. As you can see, I have Java 17, which is completely compatible with Pixelmon because this Pixelmon runs on Minecraft 1.16.5. And what happened is that any Minecraft above 1.16.4 will actually require you to have Java 17 on your computer. And I do have Java 17, but many of you might have Java 8 or Java 7 and you might be outdated. So what I'm going to do is leave this guide in the description so you could actually download and install the newest Java possible. Uh, this guide is based on Java 18, but I do recommend that you use Java 17 when following along the steps, mainly because they took Java 18 off the website. So just go ahead and use the same guide for Java 17. It's exactly the same steps. Just download Java 17 when you get to the selection part. And this will probably fix the issues for most of you. Most of you that can open the game when you click on play, maybe it crashes and it gives you some Java error. Well, the website will probably fix the issues for you. So yeah, make sure you read through the guide. And I'm also going to leave you a link for Jarfix in case you have to run a Jarfix after you install Java. So pretty much Jarfix, what it will do is that after you install Java, let's say that you had Java 7 and then you install Java 18 or 17. I'm sorry, you install Java 17. What Jarfix will do is make sure that all the files that need Java to run get updated to Java 17 because you just had an outdated version. Well, this will make sure that the new installation of Java gets applied to the files. So I will leave the, both of the links, Jarfix and Java, in the description to help those of you that weren't able to open the Pixelmon mod pack. Anyways, guys, that is the end of the guide on how to install Pixelmon. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always, bye bye.